like the number of feet in a quarter mile. Eh? Yeah, people probably won't understand that one that much. Alright, so me and Blake are uh, right now at about noonish to deliver. I don't know if you can see it, the uh, decorative source to Hugo. So, uh, get that dropped off before getting to work on the shop. Okay, we got that uh, sword delivered. We're headed back to the shop now. In a classic Italian fashion, we got held up for a bit and required to have some drinks, but it's back to the shop now, so I'll catch y'all when we're about to get to work. All right, back at the shop. We got back, took care of the horses. Now we're here to get to work. He's doing some filing on his tang. Ain't working. <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, it's new product time. It feels a little odd to not be carrying a whole bunch of stuff out here just the camera equipment. So, this is what will become my axe. This is just shy of four pounds of 1045 steel. About an inch and a half of three and a half inch round, or 3.437 inch round. But, yep, so, for starters, I need to break this into a rectangular bar before I start turning it into a axe, and to do that I'm going to use the power hammer. One minor concern though is that this is just shy of three and a half inches. And these hammers are rated for three inch. Now I'm pretty sure this guy will handle processing this at low speeds until it's within its workable range, but better say than sorry. So I'm going to light the forge up, get all the vehicles out of the shop, get the power hammer ready, and get cracking.
I just took a momentary break to eat something and put more water out here in the shop. But I decided to take this quick second to address something. In the titles of my videos here, I'm calling these Viking weapons. But the term weapon here can be used pretty loosely because most Viking uh, weapons of war, with the exception of swords, served dual purposes as common household farm sort of equipment and weapons of war. Even things like the long sax, which may look like is a brutal weapon of war, but also have been a common household tool like a broom or a rake. These were great for carving or preparing meat. In most cases, they would not be a long sax. They would typically just be a uh, typical short sax, though. But, but then the axe is pretty obvious. It's an axe. It's for chopping wood. It also happens to be very good at chopping limbs and necks. So most Viking weapons were really just tools repurposed as weapons. Swords were the rare exception because they cost a lot of money. The modern equivalent would be like buying a supercar and using it to tow your, uh, your, bu your brush hog around. It's the wrong application and it would probably break it. So yeah, weapons is uh, subjective. They're really just tools. Back to the work. the anvil. So, wow, you pivoted the anvil. Check this out, just out of the blue, a rainstorm. Literally out of the blue, it's sunny. Wow, it's bright out. I don't know where it's coming from. <coughs> oh, sun. <coughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Rain feels cold, though. Jesus, is getting there. Almost time to go back to that.
right, so the forge decided that's where we end for the day. So we got uh, this much done. It's going to be a long process. So I've been doing some conferring with a neighbor of mine who's a really fair, who's a really talented blacksmith. And he's suggested that doing it in a more traditional way of forge welding and folding the eye would probably be easier than punching it. Considering you know, tooling and all that, so that's what I'm going to be going for now. You know, I'm going to have to draw it out narrower or draw it further than I was originally anticipating. How much parts we make today? No, ah, shit. Knocked a half inch off that dimension. Gained a half inch there. And that's about the same. So we got some progress. Uh, the die would occasionally get a little bit loose. So I'd have to go in and uh, fix that every couple of heats. But making progress and next time I'll probably be able to get a earlier start meaning I won't only spend two and a half three hours out here working I'll spend much longer and hopefully get a lot more progress done forging this thing so that's all for now if you like this video please consider liking subscribing to see our future videos and to see how this project turns out that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time.